Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today I did a little bit of shopping. All right y'all, if this is your first time here, I love finding different things to sublimate. And usually you can find me inside of all of my local Five Below's, looking through tags to see what inside of Five Below is full of polyester. Well, today I had to stop off at Michael's and I ran across a few sublimation items. So we are going to test out these sublimation items from Michael's and see how they sub. Also, Inspire Me Custom Teas and Things sent me some of their sublimation paper to sample. So I will be testing the paper also, in addition to seeing what this stuff from Michaels is all about. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So let's first take a look at the paper. And this is from Inspire Me Custom Teas and Things. I will have a link in the description. All right, so here is the paper. And so, of course... This has to be the side that you you print onto. So we are gonna test this out, y'all. All right, so let's see what's in our bag. And y'all, this is just a hat. Um, they come in different colors. This isn't anything new inside of Michael's, but I did wanna let y'all know that you can sub onto these hats. And this is a, it is 80% polyester, 20% cotton. So that is enough polyester to get some ink onto it. Also, these bags aren't new, but these two can be subbed onto. These are 100% polyester, and these are the drawstrings. Now, I've subbed on several of the totes before that they have. Imagine has those totes, but these are art mines, and they are 100% polyester. I've had these for a while, and I have not subbed onto them. So, of course, with the red, you may want to sub something a little bit darker. Here is the stuff that I ran into today. So they have these Gildan shirts and it says that they are for sublimation and they are soft and y'all, they are actually very, very soft. All right. So this is a shirt that I am just going to be testing out. It says Gildan Performance. They are 100% polyester and I can't wait to try this out to see how this subs. All right. So Michaels does have a brand of their own sublimation shirts, but um, my Michaels, well, the one that I went to today didn't have it. So I want to check some other local Michaels to see if they have it. So this is a tumbler that bulges. So if you get these tumblers, just know that this particular tumbler, you will not be able to do an all over wrap of this tumbler. So you may want to put something in the center. You can kind of put something at the top. You can even put like a name or something going up, but all over is not gonna, it's not going to wrap because of the way that this cup is shaped. But I'm excited about trying it out. As y'all see, it says sublimation ready. All right, next we have these wine glasses. And y'all, these wine, well, it's not really a glass, it's a wine tumbler, but you guys know what I mean. So we have these wine tumblers and these are also sublimation ready. All right, and these are the Michaels brands, I think, yep, Make Market. I think these are Michaels brands, but they have Make Market um, shirts also. I can't wait to try those out. But here is the wine tumbler. And again, this is another one where you're not going to be able to get a full wrap. So you may be able to get something in the center. You may even be able to get something around the top. But at the bottom with this bulge, that's just not going to be possible to get an all over print on this. But we are going to test this out for a sublimation. And then the last item, we have this mug, all right? And so sublimation ready. And so we are going to be testing this out and we're going to see how this works. We will be doing this particular one in our Cricut mug to see if we can sub onto this. 
All right, guys. So we are getting ready to press the items and I've printed out the images already. And this is the Inspire Me paper. I was not sure it didn't come or the samples that I had did not come with um, any instructions or directions. So I decided to print one set out using plain paper, the plain paper setting in the printer dialog box and another set with premium presentation mat. I do want you to note, um, I do have ink here at the top that I'm gonna cut and I'm not gonna use this one on the item, but the way that I got the paper, it was a little bit uh, bent and folded. So that's what caused this when it was going through uh, the, the printer for the plain paper setting, but everything looks good. I hope I printed it on the right side. One side, you guys may not be able to tell, but this is kind of like pinkish. And I was thinking when I printed, I was like, maybe it goes on that side. I don't know. I don't really have room for error uh, with testing this paper out because there are I, these are the only sheets that I have. And then this one, um, I did premium presentation mat. And I don't know if you guys can really see, but there are roller um, marks. There it goes. There are roller marks um, in this print. So we did not experience that with the plain paper setting, but the premium presentation matte setting, we did. So lately I have been only using plain paper setting. I don't see a big difference. And so we are going to see if there's a big difference. And my fingers are crossed that I printed this out on the correct side. I got all of the images off of Creative Fabrica. And if you are interested in Creative Fabrica, there is a link listed in my description. For your mugs, um, even if you have used other sublimation mugs or items that are similar, you always want to make sure that you measure. All right. So it's easier for me to have a measuring tape because it's very flexible and it can wrap around my items. So that is what you would want to do. For the hat, we are going to be using an image that is about four inches high and about, no, about four inches wide and about two inches high. All right, so let's head over to the heat press. All right, y'all. So we're going to start with the sharp, and I am just going to lint roll it. And if this is your first time seeing anything or seeing the sublimation process, you lint roll because you don't want any unnecessary materials on the shirt to distort the color of your shirt, all right? So we are going to be using this design. I do have a piece of paper or butcher paper inside of the shirt because I'm not sure. I've never worked with this paper before. This is a new shirt that I'm working with and it's the Gildan Performance. So I just wanna make sure that everything comes out the way that it's supposed to come out. And I almost started pressing this with this on here. So I do wanna just cut around the edges to make sure that there's no black ink around there because that ink will be subbed onto the shirt also. All right, so I cut the edges and I am just going to place this right here. And we are going to place some heat tape so that it doesn't shift when we press. Now you can use a ruler to make sure you get it aligned the way that you want it to be. I'm just pressing, I'm not really concerned about that. Okay, and because this is a new paper that I'm using, I am going to be using butcher paper on top. So I really hope that I printed on the correct side. Um, I didn't think that this side would be good because it, it is colored. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And so you put the butcher paper on top so that you don't have to worry about any, um, any bleeding. And we are pressing uh, the fabric material at 380 degrees for about 45 seconds. I'm just trying to guess, I'm not sure if that's enough or if that's too much. So that's also an important reason why you wanna make sure you have butcher paper inside. Sometimes when you overpress, that can cause your image to be bleed through the opposite side of the shirt. All right, so let's hope that <laughs> that was correct. And I don't see any images coming through this side. So I'm not sure if we use the right side. Let's see. Not all paper bleeds, okay? So we are just going to peel this off and 
see how it turned out. So it looks like we did have it on the right side. All that color came off pretty nicely. And let me take out our butcher paper so that I can show y'all. All right, and this is our shirt. And this is the premium presentation matte setting. All right, so it looks pretty good. All right, let's move to the bag. So now we are going to get ready to press this bag and this is 100% polyester. I am going to give it a pre-press just to kind of smoothen it out a bit. And y'all, I'm not really sure about these cords because sometimes these cords don't do well underneath the press. <sighs> but we will see. Right. And so let's see how they feel. Mm, they feel okay. I may try to do something like this. I'm just putting the straps around like that. Here is the image that we're going to be using, and this is a uh, this is the plain paper setting. All right. So the same process. We are just going to place this right here in the center, and we will be taping it down with heat tape. I'm going to put my butcher paper and we are pressing this the same. All right, let's see how it turned out. Oh my God, this. I'll do that. Sometimes with bags like this, your cords will melt. So I was just being extra precautious because I didn't want to take it loose. Now you can always take that loose, but then you have to just string it back. Yep. All right, so let's see how this came out. All right, and that's the ink. So I'm not still not sure if I'm printing this out on the right side, y'all. I may not be. But if I'm not, the other side still has pretty good ink release. Because this is what we have. So now I'm just speeding this up and we are going to get ready to press the red bag. I'm doing the exact same steps as I did with the white one. I just want you all to see how a red bag or any color like this can be subbed. Also, I forgot to mention that those cords can cause a pressure issue. So you do want them out of the way, especially if they are knotted. But we are just going to press this and see how this black ink turns out on this red bag. You don't want to try this with other colors because lighter colors will not work well with this bag. And now we are going to go ahead and remove our image. And y'all, this looks pretty good. I'm very, very pleased with how this red bag subs. All right, guys. So next we're going to get ready to press the hat. And I kind of cut. I was going to use this hat for an embroidery project when I was testing out my embroidery machine. I changed my mind, so there's really, I cut the flap underneath. But I just want to make sure that it is snug around the hat form. There it is. Let's push it down. And so this is the image that we will be subbing, and this is also premium presentation matte. And we are just going to apply it just like this. And I do have some of the heat tape. This is the Strong Grip Heat Tape from Cricut. All right, so we are all set. And I put a little bit of butcher paper on top. And we are going to get ready to press this. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the butcher paper as I was doing it I don't think I had it flat enough or maybe these hats really just aren't good enough or good for maybe these hats aren't really good for um sublimation or I don't know I have to see because it kind of buckled right here so let's go ahead and remove it and Okay, so the paper looks good. Looks like I might have overdid it. 
but that area where we had that buckling of the hat, it kind of like went in a little bit. And I've had other issues with subbing these hats. Like, look, this is hard. So it's possible that the heat from the sublimation may be a little bit too much um, for this area of the hat because of the backing that's right here. So that's what I'm thinking because now it's it's kind of hard. So maybe it's not necessarily for sublimation, the hat, but it actually, it doesn't look too bad. I'll have to put it on to see if I can like stretch that out. All right, so next we are going to, or we will be pressing this mug. And as y'all see, I want it two different sides, but the paper wasn't really straight. So when it went through the printer, it curled up even more. And so it kind of caused a little bit of disfiguration there. So I'm only going to use one side and I am going to make sure that I cut that edge off. And this was the plain paper setting. And let me go ahead and cut this off for the wine tumbler. All right, y'all, so our heat press is warming up and we are going to be placing this right here on this side. And so I do want to remove that sticker and you wanna give your cups a nice clean alcohol rubbing alcohol is just fine to clean it off all right so i've cleaned it and let it dry and so we are just going to be placing this right here on the front and i need to remove that bottom how do you guys think the bottom would sub i may have to try it out all right so we are just going to put this here i'm going to get some heat tape and we will apply the heat tape so that this does not move. And I'm also gonna cover it with some butcher paper. All right, that's all I'm going to use. I am just going to go ahead and place this here. And you have to be careful with the wine tumblers because it also bulges. So it's gotta be careful with that. And I am going to do the same thing and apply my heat tape. I am going to tape around this a little bit better because this is just going in the convection oven. So I don't want that to be distorted. And now we are going to place the image onto this one. And this one is the same thing. I could have probably used a bigger image I could have because it looks like it kind of works a little bit better so some of them the bulge is a little like more centered the bulge seems to be like here in that area like so it kind of just has like a sharp taper here and then here so i could have made the image a little bit bigger all right i do have another of these cups so i can uh do a little more practicing with it but this is my very first time using any of these items from michael's except those drawstring bags. And so I'll probably use the same cup to practice on a little bit. All right, and our, it's time now for us to press. And then you just wanna make sure you're always taping it down really, really tightly because that is where the air gets in and then that causes the ghosting. All right, so we are going to get ready to apply this or to put this into our convection oven. I am going to tape the sides down, but let's get ready to press our mug. All right, and so we're just going to go ahead, kind of on that center a little bit. I'm going to push this down. And we will wait. So our mug is done and you wanna make sure you have on some heat gloves because that mug is going to be super, super hot. And so now we are just going to go ahead and remove the wrapping off of the mug. And y'all be careful when scratching or trying to peel off the tape. You don't want to scratch off the coating. But I must say that while I was peeling off the tape, nothing came off none of the coating came off so these mugs seem to be very very good quality all right y'all so that looks pretty good i had something on my paper 
that is what that is from. The edge of the paper must have had ink on it and ink somewhere on there and I did not see it. So I always cut close to your image, but y'all, this looks pretty good. All right, y'all, so let's see how this went. I put this in to my convection oven for about four minutes at 385 degrees because I did not know the timing. No, that's something else. I was about to say, don't tell me I had another edge, but that is something else. So let's see how this comes out. Oh, nice, y'all. And I didn't even use any shrink wrap or anything. I actually just put it like this and taped it. I didn't want you guys to see it, see me do that, because I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. But this turned out really nicely, my goals. Looks really nice. I should have had it on the other side. But that came out really, really nicely. All right, so... Let's see how this one, if I had any, if I had a good press on this one. I think I had a little air there, but hopefully not. And please don't do it this way at home. You want to tape it down, use shrink wrap. And if you're new, definitely don't do it. I have videos showing exactly how to make these in your convection oven. Let's see. Let's see that kind of blurred a little bit right there, but I knew it was going to do it right there. So for the most part, it's nice and y'all, it actually subs really, really good. It subs really, really good. And this happens when you have air coming through your image. And so I didn't have that taped down that well. So that's what happened. This, I don't know what that's from, but pretty nice, pretty nice. So we're all done and everything turned out beautifully for the most part. I enjoyed subbing these items from Michael's and our tests were wonderful. The hat is still very sketchy, y'all. I'm not sure. I've used the hat several times and I have not had impressive results with it. Also, for inspiring me sublimation teas and things sublimation paper, I am very impressed. I don't think you need butcher paper for this particular paper. I would have loved to have the print settings uh, for different items and substrates. However, my regular settings work perfect with this paper. The items turned out beautifully. As you'll see, that red bag subbed that black really nicely. And the tumblers, they came out amazing. Just like any other tumbler that I have used. I am very, very pleased with the items from Michaels. But that's gonna be it for today, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. Join me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I would love to have you there. But this has been fun. I love y'all. Thanks for watching this haul. And until next time, y'all.